Lehmann and Reinitzer. LCD technology from Sharp. Today's modern LCD technology is based on a discovery made by engineers Lehmann and Reinitzer around 120 years ago. In their research work, they came across liquids with typical crystalline properties. This is how the term liquid crystal was coined. Let's take a look at the technology in detail. In liquid crystals, the molecules are similar to long, drawn-out rods. As with crystalline structures, these molecules exhibit a strictly ordered crystal structure. The ordering of the molecules creates a directional orientation. In most LCD displays, the liquid crystals are embedded between two glass plates rotated by 90 degrees. This formation produces what is known as a twisted pneumatic LCD. A polarization filter is fitted onto each of the outer glass plates. These polarization filters mean that only one dispersion direction of multiple light waves emanating from a light source is allowed to pass through. The light follows the rotation of the molecules and twisted by 90 degrees hits the outer polarization filter. As the rotation means that the direction of the light matches that of the polarization filter, the light can also pass through this filter and brightens the outer glass plate at that point. If an electrical field is then generated between the glass plates, the special property of the liquid crystal molecule becomes fully apparent. As the molecules are dipolar, they react to the electrical field and are repelled. The rotated molecule structure is interrupted. When light then passes through the first polarization filter and follows the direction of the molecules, this hits the outer polarization filter and cannot pass through it. This means that the outer glass plate remains dark. As with a light switch, switching an energy field on or off can be used to determine whether or not the LC display allows light to pass through it. When a matrix is created from a number of these individual cells, it becomes possible to display graphics and images. To generate more colors, each pixel is divided into three subpixels. Color filters are placed over these subpixels in the colors of red, green, and blue. By triggering the subpixels differently, additive color mixing can be used to generate each color required. 